welcome back to my channel and it is the week of august 5th through the 11th and i'm just showing you my planner very simple um have the little girly stickers here that i got from michael's not as busy as last week i'm not doing that much this week getting ready to go back to school there's hair appointments there's uh clothes shopping and just getting everybody back to where they need to be so i don't have much on this week i'll probably fill more in as it goes i've got my quotes on here and I'm gonna add a couple of little things I want to do I want to go to the movies Tuesday night five dollar movie night here where I live for the movie so hopefully we can make it a date night I don't know if baby girl has to work or not um, Wednesday she gets her hair done for back to school um, got a couple of let me see if I can focus that more quotes there Friday normal routine back to laundry and cleaning I love to wake up to a clean house on Saturday morning I know a lot of people including my IG bestie, get up and clean up on Saturday mornings. I don't want to get up on Saturday mornings. I don't want to get up and clean up. I sleep late. I turn my alarms off. Nothing. So Friday nights is usually when I come home, get off work, mop, wash, clean, check the house, do everything on Friday nights. And then this Saturday, I don't have anything spectacular planned. Is it this weekend? No, I don't. Do I? Yes, I do. I do. I need, I'm going to a tattoo show. In Fort Lauderdale this weekend so I will try to take pictures or vlog or follow me on Instagram going to a tattoo expo I do want to get a tattoo um, our anniversary is Monday so we may stay the night down there go to dinner and make an uh, evening out of it um, Saturday to Sunday we're still trying to figure that out but yeah that's what I'm gonna do for this weekend our anniversary always falls like on a weekday i don't know why we got married around the first day of school i have no idea that's how that cookie crumbled so um this is my planner for the week i hope you guys are taking advantage of your planners i have maybe y'all can help me because i don't know uh -oh. hold on this victoria's secret planner and i'm trying to figure out do i want to finish the rest of the year um with this Victoria Secret Planner. Hold on, let me get my get this right with one hand. If I can. So I like the Victoria Secret Planner. It starts in August, so I can actually start it now if I want to. And I like it because it has like lines. And more structure and I would like some of these inserts for my Kate Spade planner but I'm thinking about finishing out the year with my Victoria's Secret planner even though the planner goes all the way to 2019 um because um, I don't know what else to do with it I like the planner it was free from Victoria's Secret and I don't know let me know what you guys would do should I switch it up I cannot do two planners don't suggest that I use one planner for this and one planner for that because I can't um, don't suggest that I leave one home and take one to work because I can't. I have to have one planner. I can't jump from planner to planner. My bills and everything are all in one planner. I can't jump. If I'm going to use that one, I'm going to use that one for the next six months or the next three months or rotate it or have fun with it. But I cannot be having three and four planners laying around, y'all. So don't suggest that. But if you think I should switch it up, have fun with it, and use my Victoria's Secret Planner, I can use my Victoria's Secret Planner for the rest of the year. Then I can go back to Kate Spade the beginning of 2019, and then I can still use my Victoria's Secret Planner summer 2019 because it goes into 2019. I don't know. Let me know. I'm just as confused as I sound. So y'all let me know. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.